essential to every flight. So in here, I've got an entire drone. This is the Zoe HD. I honestly don't even remember what model. I'll put it in text uh, up on the screen. It was under 200 bucks Canadian. Super simple plug and play setup. I did add some red and green tape for navigation. And I'll show you just how easy it is to actually set this up, right? You got one captive thumb screw. You got your wing there. You got your wing there. And your thumb screw right there. And that's it. No servo connectors to mess around with. It's got automatically connecting uh, like pin and socket kind of connectors in there. Your servos, already done. Only one thing I did notice, these hinges are just uh, kind of heat pressed foam, right? And I guess one of the molds didn't quite go through all the way. So you can see there's some holes there at the end. And without them, uh, it's a little stiff to move the aileron. So I did have to clear out those holes. Uh, but it only took a few minutes to do that. And then to get the tail on, all you have to do is seriously, it's this easy. You just put it in like that, lock it down like that, and the servo connector just goes in the middle hole there, and you snap it shut like that. That's it. That's assembly of this plane. It did come with an XC30 connector, a little itty bitty weight saving, space saving connector. Uh, I don't have any XT30 batteries. I always use XT60. That's what my entire systems are standardized around. So I did switch it out for an XT60 connector. I know that's a little heavier and I know it takes up more space, but you've got plenty of space here. And I'm using these Z, Z E E E, uh, 1300 milliamp, 120C batteries. I think that is an exaggeration. They're an Amazon special. For CG, I literally just shove the battery all the way back, turn on the radio first, and I'll get to the radio in a second and shove the battery all the way back. I'm gonna hold it steady, nice and level for a second, and you'll see the servos jitter. There we go, it's going through its startup signal. So why is it doing that? Well, this comes as a kit, a plug and play, or an FPV ready. I don't really know what the FPV ready means. I think it's basically an RTF, but I got the plug and play. So it had the motor ESC servos already installed, which is nice. I just had to drop in my own radio and battery, and so, I dropped in, I hope you can see it there. That's a Spectrum receiver that I actually pulled out of an Aero Scout. Cause this, look at this plane. It looks exactly like an Aero Scout, right? It's got the pusher prop, it's got the high wing, you know, single tail boom. Um, and aside from not having a rudder, it's got the exact same control setup. So I figured if this, uh, if this looks like an Aero Scout, probably flies like one, right? Let's see how it flies. You'll have to excuse the bad camera work, working alone here, but I wanted to go over just how easy this thing was to fly right out of the box. With the CG from the battery being shoved all the way back, I had a pretty good experience right off the bat. I would say actually don't go much further forward than that. There are some bumps on the bottom of the wing that are about halfway back from the leading edge. I went a little bit further forward than that with the CG. I was about uh, two inches back from the leading edge rather than the three inches that the bumps are at. So I think this was actually technically nose heavy, although I've never seen a CG on the middle of a wing before. That is kind Isn't of weird. Quiet? Look at that. Overall, it was super stable. And yes, I did launch it with the gyro. I know people hate on gyros all the time, but frankly, I think they just need to stop because the gyros really aren't that bad. You can turn them off if they're not your thing. Uh, and when you're maidening a plane, nothing sucks more than when you maiden a plane and it immediately crashes into the ground. I've had that happen several times. It sucks. It can cost, uh, you know, a few hundred dollars sometimes. And if having a gyro for the first 30 seconds of flight and then you switch it off, once you know that it's actually solid, is what saves you hundreds of dollars, then I think that is totally fine if you want to. It's totally fine if you don't. But you'll see in a second, I actually ended up having a visitor come in. Uh, there was someone else at the park, so let's see who ended up visiting. That's okay. <laughs> uh, no, but I've had a bird uh, kind of try and fight one before. Uh, I had a live feed camera on it, and um, you could see a turkey vulture you know, at first was getting pretty close to it. It didn't like it at first, but eventually we kind of made some friend, made friends over a few weeks. 
My first day out with this one, just a little electric one. You've been here before with other? Uh, yeah, so there's me and one other guy. Um, he builds a lot of his own. Um, and then I've had a giant like six and a half foot one out here before. I've got a few of those. Um, I keep crashing though, so I went to the smaller ones. Yeah, I think I've seen the other guy here. He's got an actual, like a, a full, looks like a full plane. Kind of yeah, yeah, this one's a little mini one and the wings and tail come off and fit right in that little box there. And uh, you can see, like I'm hands off right now and it's like leveling itself because I have a little uh, computer in it that senses where it's tilted. A little gyro? Yeah, and so it'll counteract the wind and I can turn it off if I want. Like I've got it off right now uh, and then I'll turn it back on. And I've also got a panic button. So let's kind of get in a bad, right? Like flipping around and it just levels out for me. Oh, that's awesome. So. So it would come right back to you if I, if you hit a button, like a home button? Uh, no, this one doesn't have that. Um, I do have some flight computers that could do that. I'd have to add GPS and some software to it. Oh, okay. This one just does like balance kind of sensing. Um, we tried it years ago for Christmas gifts. We gave them all to the kids, right? And it was the cheaper model than when they were first coming out. And, uh, yeah. We had no success with it. <laughs> yeah, it took me a long time to actually have any of these run smoothly. Like, I've been doing this since about 2014. Uh, I, well, I guess my first plane was 2012. Um, I could never get the helicopter type ones to work. Oh, no? They always flip over. Okay. But these plane ones are a bit easier. Yeah, so it's like that. 